What's going on everybody? It's Patrick Midtown Outdoors. How's my outdoor crew doing? I hope this video finds you well. Forgive me if I uh, take sips of coffee here from time to time. I'm just now kind of getting over a cold. So it kind of helps keep my throat going, shall we say. <sighs> She's good. Anyway, um, just came back from a quick run to the store. And the weather has changed drastically outside since yesterday. Yesterday it was around 69, 70 degrees. Uh, it rained early yesterday morning, but let me get into what my reflection really is about. Um, but November was always campery month. It was always a fall campery. Um, if you've never been in Scouts, you don't know what I'm talking about. What basically it is, is your district, which would mount up to several scouting troops, would get together and compete in different things, fire building, tent building, or, you know, all kinds of different things. I'm just giving examples. Um, we had a winter campery where we had to build a sled, and we got together and built a sled in my dad's garage one year. Um, but anyway, but it was always that camp out. We would take off, never failed. It would rain that night after we got there, or sometimes it was even raining when we got there. It was wet. You went to bed. Hopefully you stayed dry enough to go to bed dry. Uh, you wake up the next morning, it was cold, muddy. Um, I'm just gonna come out and say it, downright miserable. And um, we would, um, you know, go about our contest and, you know, against one another and all in good, you know, all, all in good um, graces. Um, but we was always out to win. Isn't that the purpose of a contest? Or Anyway, so, you know, we'd go all day. It'd be cool like it is today. It would be, you know, overcast. I'll throw in the video of me going to town a little bit ago. Uh, just overcast and gray and gloomy. Sometimes we would wake up and the sun would come out. But sometimes it would always end up being gray and just gloomy. And then uh, you go to bed that night after a big campfire, you know, and get together and everybody hanging out. And you get up next morning, on Sunday morning. Sometimes we'd get up on a Sunday morning and we'd have a beautiful sunrise. And it would warm us up, but we'd still need that campfire to help heat us up a little bit more. And it was always so, oh, I never forget this, it was always so, it just depended. I mean, I remember a couple of them, it was just so chilly, and you just didn't want to even cook breakfast. And then you had to take all the tents down, you had to get all the gear in the trailer and just right, and, and then you, you know, load it up after you did your, um, did your trash detail make sure there was no trash left behind no nothing left behind they included boys and uh you would meet your parents back at the scout building or church wherever you were and you get in the car and you're still you're still cold from being wet from being you know in the mud being out in it all weekend long and it always ended up being like sunday Noon time. The, it never f failed, you know, football games were starting up when I'd come in the house. But then I would come in the house at mom and dad's and dad had put a freestanding fireplace in the den a uh, few years while I was in scouting. And I would come in and that thing would be burning and the fan would be blowing on it and that heat coming off of it. I'd go get a shower and everything, put on some comfy clothes. And I would get in the recliner. I, I mean, I can, I can remember this like it just happened. I would get in that recliner, one of the recliners, and I'd just kick back and I'd be gone until supper time. I'd just sleep. Um, right there, as close as I could get to that fireplace. But uh, anyway, it's just something that it came flooding through my brain and I thought I'd share it with you guys. But... I remember those camping trips. It was always, 
in November and you would come back and you would think, oh my God, that was so miserable. And, you know, not only did you have the rain, you had the cold. And like I said, sometimes we didn't get the sunshine until Sunday morning. And it was like, you know, God, you know, said, you, you made it. You made it to another camping trip. Here's some sun for you. I'm going to warm you up a little bit, but wait till you get home and then you have that nice big warm fireplace to crawl up beside and your mother to fix you a nice big uh, supper that night. Then we have to go back to school the next day. Never failed. But uh, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, this little story from the past. All right, guys, if you like that, give me a thumbs up, please. And then comment down below if you lived that, had that in your past, in your history. If you'd like to hear more of that, let me know. I appreciate it, guys. See you on the next one. Be prepared. <music>